Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we are working on our little Roadster pickup shop truck that uh, I've been making some pretty good headway on. So in the last video, you saw I got pretty much all the like structural uh, rust taken care of. There was a bunch of uh, kind of rotted out or, or very heavily pitted floor pans and under the seat and in the back, and then I straightened out the back panel, and we really got the cab kind of going in the right direction and uh, feeling pretty confident here that we can bang out most of the metal work on this truck pretty quickly. So the next thing I wanna take care of is in the same uh, vein of structural uh, type repairs. So the B pillar and the wood, uh, there was wood in the B pillars and around this back wall here. And all of that wood is pretty much rotted out on this. Yes, you can buy the wood, but we wanna try and make this truck a little more uh, sound. So by adding metal into the B pillars like we've done in a lot of videos and then also around the back We should be able to kind of lock the cab in so that when you shut the doors It's a lot more solid and it'll also help with flexing and moving when you're driving the truck around So uh, I'm going to take some of this. Uh, I keep this stuff around a lot It's a uh, two inch by one inch rectangular box tubing. It's really good for B pillar type repair um, or fabrication and the B pillars on this I measured already they go from at the widest point two inch and they taper down to one inch on the top and bottom so we can do that to this and then we can also kind of like we've done before really kind of simple backyard hot rodding put some pie cuts in there and, and bend the tubing get it to match this curvature and then we could fit it in uh, bolt it in and uh, and then start tying in our back wall and we'll see how far we get in this video but it should be a lot more solid by the end of the video so let's get started
right, so got a bunch of welding done and we got all this box tubing in and the cab is super solid now. Uh, by doing all that welding, we really kind of fixed a number of issues that were going on. The whole back of the cab was kind of all wonky because before we put those floor pieces in, they were rotted out and then also the cab up here was all hammered and bent out of shape. So in the last video, I kind of took the first step by getting everything in the bottom part of the car all sturdy and then in the back part of the cab, I straightened all that out and then everything kind of fell into place as I was pulling the box tubing in and uh, it kind of fixed some of our door issues. So before the doors, uh, they still don't latch correctly. This one's got the latch ripped out, but um, the doors didn't even really fit without pushing on the car. We had to kind of force the car. So we don't even have the wood blocks on yet and the doors and everything are um, fitting pretty good. So that tells me that we're not going to have to do a crazy amount of shimming or pulling on the body to get everything to work again. Just kind of get our blocks under there and tighten everything up evenly and it should work pretty well. But now this door opens and shuts nicely. It has a pretty decent gap in here. Um, so it's working out pretty good. So by replacing this wood, yes, I could have bought the wood for back in here, but you still have that issue that the wood is going to flex a lot. And these things are, are notoriously bad for the doors popping open and flexing and things as it is. So adding this little bit of stability by adding metal in there, it was cheap. I got it in my scrap metal yard and probably this amount of tubing, I probably have $5 into or something stupid like that. Um, and it also added rigidity to the car, which is really good. So now that we have this done, I'm probably gonna work on really soon getting the doors to latch. I gotta do some of this repair on the inside here. Um, we're gonna work on getting some of that done and we're gonna get some of the steering stuff set up pretty soon. We've started thinking about a dash in this thing and then we're getting some old Yankee parts coming in really soon that we're gonna be doing the AV8 swap in this and show you their kit and how easy it's going to make it. And I'm hoping by summertime, we might be driving this thing, fingers crossed. So thank you guys for following along. Hope this is helpful if you're doing a, a little Model A Roadster or Roadster pickup, doing something like this should definitely help make your car a little less floppy. Thanks guys, catch you later.